Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. This time, we will showcase this brand new precision modeling system. This free and constrained based tool within Blender will let you do CAD design like nothing before. As we said this tool is all free and new, just drop out last week, and there's a lot of development on the way. So let us see how can we install it inside Blender. As always all the links related is in the description box. And with that being said, let us start with this video. So, to get this CAD sketching tool, just hit the link in the description, and it should direct you to this Gumroad page. As you see here, it's all free till this day, and down below, you can find some information around this tool with instruction for installation and other functions. Read it if you need. To get this tool and install it in Blender, you can tip the creator for any small amount you have, or just write down zero and hit purchase. I already did that so let us go into Blender. The download link will provide you with a zip file, so once you are inside the add-on settings in Blender, you can just hit the install button and select the zip file for the CAD sketch tool. And here it is, we can now check the box to enable it, and open the add-on to see the settings inside, the cat tools should appear on the left area with the sidebar, and to get them show there, you need to hit this installation button, it will take couple of seconds, and it give me this message, so I just restart Blender as this is my go to fix any lagging problem. And now the tools appear on the sidebar. Here are the sketching tools, let us go back to the add-on settings, and make sure the install key works fine. It says registered so I think we good here. There's also couple of settings you can change here to control texts, icons, decimal precision, and theme colors. You can go through them at any time. We also have extra set of settings in the side panel, so if you hit the N key, you will find a tab for the cat tool. In it, we have this big button with add sketch on it, once you press it, three sketching surfaces will appear, and you can from that choose one to start sketching on, so let us go with the horizontal one. The first tool here is for selection, next in line is 2D point, which come as a default once you select a sketching surface, and you can delete it from here. Third one is my favorite, the line tool, with this you can just click and add 2D lines inside Blender with precision system, something Blender should add a long time ago like other softwares. So I know this tool is quite humble comparing to other CAD drawing systems, but the promise of this getting bigger in Blender is quite exciting for me, so I think as Blender community and the architecture field especially, we should try our best to keep those kind of tools in development. Now back to our sketch, as you saw the lines is by default goes with the ortho snap. Once you are done with any tool just hit the right mouse key to get back to the selection tool. We can now hit any part of this sketch and with the right mouse button, delete it. We can from here select those points or the entire segment, and move it around. To close this part with arc shape, we can select the arc tool, assign the arc center in any area we want, and just draw the arc between the two points.
We can also select any two points on this sketch, and hit the distance button on the side panel to add a text indicator for this segment length. If you have a set of lines and you want them to go vertically or horizontally along your drawing, you can select it and hit the command on the side panel, so once you downloaded this tools go through all the different sections and settings on it, it quite fun to explore if you ask me. Now once you finished sketching on this surface, what you can do is convert this drawing into mesh, and once you assign it as a mesh, you just hit leave sketch, from this point, you can go and apply any number of operations or modifiers on this mesh we made, with the possibility to access the sketch at any point. To go back inside the sketching surface, you can click this pin like icon near the sketch name, and now we are back, easy as that, and you can get as many sketching surfaces as you need to. Now beside the line, the rectangle, and the circle tools, we have this last one which allows you to assign or add a new work plane on mesh surface, so that if you add a new sketch to your scene, you can select the one you create and draw on it, and that's it, you can from here explore the rest of those settings, and just have fun with it, stay sharp guys, goodbye.